Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles, and no, I am not dead. Um, I've been having a lot of stuff that's been happening. I've literally been too busy to do anything, which really pissed me off, because a lot of good music dropped, and I'm literally just starting this tonight. So, expect a lot of stuff tomorrow morning, because I'm not going to be able to get to everything tonight. So, um, I thought I'd do a movie review first, because uh, I saw Thor today, and it was a great movie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this A+. Plus. It was really good. I just love everything about this movie, just because it's it's more comical. It stuff has a lot more 80s stuff in there. Just the vibe of it, the humor, it integrated well with the, with the movie, I felt like. It, was, it just felt really good. And... Um, we're just going to break it down just a little bit, because I, to be quite honest, I don't remember a lot of it. <laughs> I just, I don't know everything. Um, but, you know, it's hard for me to take down notes when I'm actually in the, um, theater, because it's so flipping ass dark. So, we're just going to hit kind of some bullet points, but anyway. The movie itself, like, I like where it starts out. It's kind of funny, in my opinion. Um, where he's like in the, um, basically, <laughs> he goes to, um, he's been, um, searching for infinity stones, and he hasn't found any, and he got imprisoned by the fire demon Surtur, and he reveals that Thor's father, Odin, is no longer in As on Asgard, and that the realm will be soon be destroyed by the prophesied Ragnarok, which is like the, you know like the end all of everything. So, um, so one Surtur, um, uh, unites his crown with the internal flame that burns beneath the city. Uh, that's when R Ragnarok, Ragnarok will happen. Will happen. I can't even talk right. So, um, but Thor, it's kind of funny when he's discussing this plan, Thor is like literally turning around because he's like covered in like in a chain. He's like just turning around. So every time he gets to like a uh, per, uh, like a like a peak in a speech. He's like, "Hang on," they turn around. <laughs> it's literally just spinning around very slowly. I thought that was super funny. Then after he's done uh, with his speech, um, Thor breaks out and uh, knocks out Surtur and cleans the crown. And he believes that he prevented Ragnarok. So Thor goes back to Asgard uh, to um, talk to his dad. It turns out um, Odin is really Loki, and it's funny because um, he was throwing the hammer around, and um, when the first when he showed up, he was like, Odin went, oh shit. <laughs> so I thought that was funny, kind of funny, and then it um, turns out he basically um, banished, so anyway, he's throwing the hammer around, and it gets in the way of Loki, of Odin, which then he turns into Loki, then they bicker. And they finally figure out that um, he sent him to Earth. Uh, like he sent Odin to Earth and that he's still alive. And basically, he dropped him off at a freaking retirement home. <laughs> That's being torn down in Newark City. And um, when then um, Stephen Strange gets to them and basically isolates Loki then talks to Thor on his own and is trying to look at his dad. So he's like, okay, I'll help you, but you gotta get the F, F out of here. Basically, so um, they find Odin in Norway. Then Odin explains um, that he is dying and that his passing will allow his firstborn, which they had no idea about, Hela, to escape from prison, which um, he sealed her in a long time ago. And it turns out she was actually the leader of the Asgard armies and basically um, conquered the Nine Realms with Odin, but got in prison when she got a little too crazy with power and he wanted to preserve it and so he put her away. Then Odin dies and then um, Hela appears and she literally destroys Hor um, Thor's hammer. Uh, with no trouble at all. She literally just holds it in his hand, in her hand, and just kind of crushes it. And then Thor and Loki attempt to go back to the um, Bifrost Bridge, but she pursues them and forces them out into space to die. Then Hela rides in Asgard, destroying the army like paper. It was so 
badass. I was like, oh my god. And basically, the Warriors uh, 3, they all hit, uh, hit the bucket. And um, she goes to get the internal flame and literally reanimates everybody, including her wolf. And <laughs> plans to take over the Bifrost to expand the Asgardian Empire. So, yeah. But, um, well, I cannot pronounce his name, but uh, the guy that, the character that Idris Eba plays took the sword from the bridge and said that she can't really go anywhere and has away with the rest of Asgard, Asgard citizens. So then Thor crash lands on uh, the planet Sakaar, which is like a garbage planet. He always gets hit a few times by uh, falling debris and uh, that's surrounded by wormholes. And then he gets captured by a bounty hunter and um, it was actually a Valkyrie Asgardian. And basically she takes him and makes him a, um, a contender for the Grandmaster who um, has his prize winner. And um, Loki was already there and he became um, inaugurated with integrated with. I don't know why it's inaugurated. I'm tired of that. Anyway, so um, they kind of bigger for a little bit and then and then Thor is forced to compete in the fight and Stanley makes his cameo and literally cuts his hair up and then turns out his uh, competitor is actually the Hulk and they actually um, Thor almost defeats the Hulk. Almost defeats him, but um, he has this little device on the side of his neck that um, kind of knocked him out, and so he got kind of got beat up. And but when he wakes up, he's in the room with Hulk, and they start talking. And actually, this Hulk can talk pretty well, um, well better than he could. And then basically, he tries to leave, and then. Um, that doesn't happen because of the guards and the force fields and all that stuff. So they keep on talking. Then Valkyrie kind of lets him go. And they go, he goes through the glass and gets to the um, the Quinjet. And then um, Hulk gets mad because he wants his friend back. And then um, they find a recording of Natasha Romanoff. And that makes Hulk go back to Bruce Banner. It's just their whole interaction is very funny and very comical. And but that's kinda of like a good real moment which I thought was kinda of needed. And so, um they had to disguise themselves and they're going through the the town and or the city or the plane or whatever. And so the Grandmaster orders everyone to find Thor and Hulk and put them on and make bring them back. So uh so, um, basically, um, what's the girl's name? I cannot, they don't really, it's just basically Scrapper 148, or 142, sorry, 142. I like the number 148. Anyway, so, um, basically she decides to help Thor, taking Loki, um, as captive, and so they escape, and so he, Loki's been there for basically a couple months, so he had more, um, time to, uh, to be integrated in and to learn the access codes and everything. So he takes them to the uh, Grandmaster's awesome ship. And so they escape on that. And they escape through Devil's butthole. Except they say they use the A word. I'm not going to use the A word. Because I don't want to get um, <laughs> striked or anything. So anyway, they repeated that throughout the film, which I thought was kind of funny. And so they, um, then Loki tries to um, betray his brother to gain a reward from the Grandmaster, but Thor anticipated that and basically put the next thing on him and let him just kind of sit there and kind of have him handicapped for a, a while and throw away the remote, basically. And then, uh, so they escape through the wormhole to get Asgard, where Hela forces the, um, Forces are attacking, um, I want to say Hemdall, but I'm pretty sure that's not right, and they ask our citizens 
but they get there just in time. Then um, Banner becomes the Hulk again, fighting uh, the fighting the Wolf Fiona uh, Venice. I don't have my glasses on, and uh, this was a very interesting fight for me just because of um, the Wolf actually bit into the Hulk and actual blood came out so it was green so I don't know what that's going to happen with the uh, Fiennes I think he's going to come back I don't know what's going to happen to it but I think that's going to be very interesting to see what happens there so I thought they wouldn't have shown uh, the bleeding if it was it if it was going to come back later so I think that's going to come back later so then and then I um, bit Let's see. And the Resurrected Warriors, well, um, with 142, while Thor faces Hela. Uh, so Loki and the uh, Gladiators arrive to help. And then the citizens on board the large ship. And um, the guy, Scourge, who's. Um, he didn't really know what he wanted to do. So basically, um, Hela was like, why don't you be an executioner and try to kind of build him up a little bit, but he later takes pity on everybody and um, sacrifices himself to allow their escape. And then with Hela versus Thor, he actually loses an eyeball. <laughs> like, what? And then has a vision of Odin that helps him realize that the only Ragnarok can stop... that only the Ragnarok can stop Hela. So while she's distracted, Loki locates Surtur's crown and places it in the internal flame, which Surtur is reborn, destroys Asgard, seemingly killing Hela. And so um, now Thor has a new eye patch now, and so uh, Thor and the others um, escape with the Asgard remaining citizens aboard the Grey Master's vessel. And then Thor, Thor is crowned king, and he decides to take his people to Earth. And they have a mid credit scene where they come across a large spaceship. And then in the post credit scene, the Grandmaster encounters some of the some of his subjects who are still um, taking part in the revolution. And that's the end of the movie. Uh, it was a really, really, really good movie. I thoroughly really enjoyed it. Just the humor in there was really great. I really liked it. And I had to kind of look on Wikipedia to make everything flow together-ish. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if even people are really going to like this just because I'm not in my usual space and it's going to be just a touch awkward. It's probably going to be that like for the next three or four videos. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I personally give this A+. Plus. It was a really good movie. I might even want to see it again. I'm not quite sure yet. It's kind of broke. <laughs> anyway, so um, if you enjoyed this video, please go to like, comment down below, and then subscribe for more stuff because I'm always posting stuff. So for the past um, three and a half days, almost four days, I am so sorry. It's just been very hectic here. I have company coming, and then I have my floors redone in my room. And y'all have seen my room from the other from the wall over there. Y'all have seen it, and y'all know it's a wreck. It's a certified wreck. So um, anyway, I have to literally have to take everything out of this room. I had to do that all on the 14th. I can already do some stuff now by putting in boxes and just put it into a storage unit. Or you know what? No, not a storage unit. What am I thinking of? My friend's house. Silly me. Anyway, so if you made it this far, I appreciate it so much. And I promise I will not go this long without making a video. At least having some backups ready to go. Hey, I'll see you on the next video. I want you all to have a super duper awesome day. Bye, everybody.